there are like 12 ribs uh, 10 of being very prominent in our body and two being the like false rib which is uh, in lower rib cage in posterior aspect so any breach in continuity of these ribs is called rib fracture as per definition and it could be traumatic and it could be non traumatic first thing is uh, if there is a history direct trauma or indirect trauma hitting the chest wall causing pain there so that's the first thing pain localized pain tenderness by touching ribs the pain is increased so that's the one thing second with each respiration the pain increases because we can't stop our breathing third is pain sudden increase like current kind of things uh, with uh, sneezing and coughing so uh, these are uh, findings which we see in rib fractures chest injuries are usually accompanied with the rib fracture so uh, it should be seen in one uh, continuity because the the purpose of rib is to protect the vital organs and what are the vital organs it's a heart and the lung and the uh, great vessels so rib cage protects it so any injury to either lung or heart uh, can't be in isolation it must be present with with the rib fractures or other thing so instead of rib fracture we need to see the serious things the lung injuries or the heart inj- injuries so one thing second thing some cardiac events like myocardial infarction what we call heart attack left sided pain so sometimes can give a confusing picture of simple rib fracture versus uh, this myocardial infarction especially the left left sided one is traumatic there is a definitive history of injury sometimes it could be trivial like patient coughing 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 and sudden pain starts so there is a breach in the dead rib one could be non traumatic also like uh, in especially seen in the old age uh, many times it's associated with the copd that is the uh, lung uh, diseases sometimes we see a spontaneous fracture there also in case of patient sustained injury polytrauma patients whether the multiple fractures like arm fracture scapula fracture femur fracture so in multiple injured patient or in the polytrauma patient so rib is the one of ingredient of these injuries second being as i mentioned it's a old age where the chronic coughing problems especially the copd is bronchial asthma and other things these patients are more prone to get uh, rib fractures is spontaneous rib fracture i mean one thing is clinical examination just put hands there uh, there is a tenderness a specific tenderness once we press there uh, it increases the pain that's called tenderness so one is the clinical examination second is the simplest being the chest x ray chest x ray shows most of the rib fracture but in case of any doubt 99% of these cases can be diagnosed on uh, simple chest x ray but in case there is a high suspicion and chest x rays are normal then we ask for ncct that is a ct scan so that depends on uh, the context where the rib fracture is in isolation it's a single multiple or it is in association with the with the with other polytrauma so in polytrauma scenario the extreme one the uh, other serious illness takes a precedence like the treatment is dead, uh, d- dedicated to the serious illness like in lung injury if there is a, a pneumothorax or the hemothorax or hemoneumothorax or there is a very uh, dreaded condition called tension pneumothorax so in case of rib injury both with those things the treatment should be immediate and it it may require decompression by putting needle or or the chest tubes and other things that's a one thing but in in general like if it's a single or two or there is no paradox respiration then the treatment is one is tapping where we put some taps and 
to immobilize because we can't put plasters and other thing breathing is important we can't stop breathing so we put uh, straps tapes just to reduce the movements second is the muscle relaxants and some other supportive treatment just like um, if there is a constant cough we uh, prescribe med- medicines for that because with coughing uh, sneezing there is a sudden movements of there is a fractured rib which causes pain so those are the symptomatic managements rib fractures heals if it's aligned sometimes multiple rib where it is dissociated it may no, no, not heal and uh, many times it's not necessary that a rib must heal so it's in context usually if it's aligned it's a solitary usually it heals in around 4 to 6 weeks the purpose of rib is to protect the vital organs now if there is a thoracic injury there is a lung injury there is a heart injury that can be associated with this like hemothorax pneumothorax where the blood or the air accumulates in the lung and in very extreme conditions there could be a tension pneumothorax which is a life threatening it kills a patient in uh, within 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 few minutes actually traumatic uh, rib fractures we can't prevent much like we can't do much it's a in totality how we leave safety in generally we avoid injuries in total head to toe so rib being one of part okay so fall prevention injury prevention could be one of things safe road traffic disciplines other things these could be parameters that comes under the risk reduction and in case of non trauma suppression of cough its proper treatment could reduce the chances of uh, spontaneous rib fracture which is seen in those patients the rotational movements rotation movements like rotation they this causes much pain so that should be avoided but in contrast they are encouraged to do deep breathing exercise where the lung expands lung expands so deep breathing exercises encouraged but rotational movements are discouraged mm-hmm.